Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to Ron Gen 1080p. I'm back with another uh, zombies video for you guys. I got two new secrets for today to show you guys. Once I get the correct names, I'm going to give them to you. But this one is about like a hand and also like a radio tower secret. I'm going to give you guys the tutorial on how to activate them both. And also show you guys like what happened once you, you get them finished. But don't forget to check the link in the description. I have a playlist full of zombie secrets for you guys for this game and this map. So if you guys want to learn like pretty much everything about this map, check out the playlist. And as we figure out more, discover more, I'm going to upload it for you guys. And if you guys are new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more content like this, drop a like down and help other people get to it as well. So in one of these... uh. There's like the radio transmission one I'm finna show you guys. It give you like free money. Like I think 1500 if you with other people. Depends on how you, the, the game set up. But there's free points for you once you get done with this. Okay, the first one I'm going to show you guys is like this radio transmission satellite one. First thing you want to do is turn the power on. Activate Pack-A-Punch. That's pretty much you got to do that with all these setups. Turn the power on. Activate Pack-A-Punch. And this one you have to get like a long range weapon something that can shoot far and you don't have to pack a punch the weapon but just apply the shock ability to your weapon and I'm gonna uh, they all with these locations are all with the same location they don't change in none of that okay the first one is like in yard the spawn location is to off to the right and if you look up you're gonna shoot once you got your weapon activated with the shock uh, electrical element on it you want to shoot it until it's pointing like you know the turning right behind you the little uh the area so make sure the satellite pointing that way towards it and once you get it right you're going to see like a blue light flicker on it like a little like a little short delay like right up under that satellite it's going to start blinking blue so you shoot that one and the next location is in uh the crash site you want to look it's kind of far and you just want to make sure you aim it right and don't forget the bullets do drop as the like the distance and this one is kind of far so you want to keep hitting it until it's pointing like towards you right behind Kino, point towards Kino Detona. Like I said, you'll see the blue light once you get it correct. And the last location is in the pond. It's in the pond area. This one kind of close, and you want to shoot it until you get it pointing the direction the, uh, behind you, Kino Detona. And once you get all three of them, it's going to send like a light and transmission, and you're going to want to make your way to the top of Kino. And you're going to see like three points right there. And then you're going to get a number sequence. This is a part of further Easter egg. So once I get all this like figured out. And the community helps as well. I'm going to drop the video for you guys. And use the number sequence. But it's at the top. And that's how you do it. First location in the yard. Second location is in the crash site. Fur, further away. And the third location is in the pond area. They always will be right there. Just get them to point towards you. Pretty, yeah, that's pretty much give them to point your direction. When you're shooting them and then you get the lightning transmission go at the top and you get the free points hurry up because you're doing this with random so whoever wants the points only one person can get the points i'm about to move on to the next new easter egg we find out about all right this one has got something to do like with a giant hand it doesn't do anything so far just yet but it show you like this giant hand that comes out this room first thing you need to do for this one as well make sure the power's on pack a punch is activated and pack a punch a weapon it don't matter what weapon just pack a punch it one time and then you want to make your way and go into like the dark ether and once you inside the dark ether you want to go to the medical bay and right right behind speed cola is like this giant room and once you're in the dark ether you want to shoot at these four it's four buttons you want to shoot at you got to be in the dark ether and have a pack a punch weapon you're going to shoot at the buttons and when you hit the button that door above it, the light is going to turn green. There's four of them. You're going to hit all four. Ain't no sequence or nothing. Just hit all four anywhere you want. And then the, the room closest to you on the left is a light going to come from there. You're going to shoot that button. And when you hit that button, a giant hand will come out. Like a giant hand will come out. And that's how you do that one right there as well. But this has been Ron Gen 1080p, guys. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And you enjoyed these two new Easter eggs I showed you. When I find out any more throughout this whole thing of this game i'm going to post it for you guys show it don't forget to check the link in the description there's a playlist full of other videos that can help you guys and tips trick easter egg tutorials everything to do with call of duty zombies cold war so i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video